Just in, Tinubu APC in trouble as Kaun Kwaso speaks on deputizing Peter Obi in 2027. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got to earn this morning. As our headline for this morning says, Just in, Tinubu APC in trouble as Kaun Kwaso speaks on deputizing Peter Obi in 2027. Rabi Ukan Kwaso, the presidential candidate of the new Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, in the 2023 election, has expressed his willingness to serve as a deputy to Peter Obi for the Labour Party in the upcoming 2027 elections, provided certain conditions are met in the recent video posted in an X platform. The former governor of Kano State articulated his readiness to engage in discussion with Obi, emphasizing the importance of trust in any potential partnership. Kwan Kwaso remarks came amid ongoing political discourse surrounding the 2027 presidential election where alliances and coalition could signify influence the outcome. While he acknowledged Obi's political presence, Kwan Kwaso asserted his belief that he holds a most substantial political stature. I am bigger than Peter Obi politically. I am his elder brother and I hold a PhD. I performed better than him. When I was the governor of my state, he said, he reiterated his openness to the deputy position but underlined that negotiation would be contingent upon establishing a mutual understanding. During the 2023 presidential election, Obi gained a significant voter base within a majority of 11 states and the federal capital territory FCT Abuja, ultimately finishing third with approximately 6.1 million votes. Conversely, Kamal Kwaso demonstrated a strong support in Kano State, where he won 38 out of 44 local government areas, accumulating around 1.5 million votes. The constructing electoral success of both candidates highlights the potential for a dynamic partnership that could leverage their respective strengths. In his statement, Kamal Kwaso emphasized the need for a constructive dialogue between the two parties. He pointed out that while he sees himself as politically superior, collaboration could be beneficial for both sides. We are willing to engage in discussion provided that trust is established. He said, suggesting that a framework for cooperation could lead to a, for, for a more formidable challenges against other political parties. The political landscape in Nigeria has marked by intense competition with various parties verifying for influence as the country approaches the 2027 election. Kwan Kwaso's readiness to consider a deputy role reflects the evolving nature of political alliance in Nigeria, where strategic partnership may prove crucial in galvanizing voter support. Kwan Kwaso has previously criticized the current administration, particularly the ruling APC or Progressive Congress, accusing it of neglecting the need of improvised populace. His statement resonates with many Nigerians who feel in the who feel marginalized by the government. Well, in the light of this, his openness to collaboration with Obi may signal a shift towards a more united opposition front against the incumbent government. As political discussion unfolds, Kwan Kwasop comments underscores the importance of political relationship in Nigeria, where past rivals can morph into alliance. If they serve mutual interest, the possibility of a coin Kwasa will be ticket has the potential to reshape the political dynamics ahead of the next election cycle. Furthermore, the sentiments expressed by Kwan Kwasa reflect a broader narrative among political leaders in Nigeria, where the call for unity and collaborative action is gaining traction. Leaders from various parties are increasingly recognizing the need to form coalitions to challenge the status quo effectively. Well, in a recent public address, both Kwan Kwasa and Obi have echoed similar themes regarding the failure of the current administration and lying their rhetoric with the frustration of many Nigerians. The preserved ineffectiveness of the APC-led government has created a fertile ground for opposition leaders to gain support by presenting themselves as a viable alternative. Kwan Kwasa's um, proposition also speaks, to, also speaks to the evolving landscape of Nigerian politics where former rivals may seek to come together for the common good of the nation. Well, as political aspiration continues to shape the narrative leading up to the election, the potential for expected alliance becomes increasingly possible. 
And that is what we have for you guys concerning this headline today this morning. We shall say that just in Tinibu and APC is in trouble as Coin Quarter speaks on deputizing Peter Obi in 2027. Well, you ready for me this morning. And if you're not a subscriber, the best you can actually do right here and right now is to tap that subscribe button with the notification bell so that anytime of a new video, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Well, Coin Quarter said that you want to be T um, Peter Obi's. Um, Vice President in 2027 election to come. Hmm. But calm down, though. Equan Kwasa and Peter Obi's ticket is good, though. I'm not against that, though. But for the fact that Kwan Kwasa said that when it comes to politics, he's bigger than Peter Obi, that he, he, he does more things, yeah, he, he's well known, this and that, this and that, this and that. We all know that Kwan Kwasa only gained your, your, your 1.5 million, million votes only from Kano states. Only from Kano State, but Peter Obi finished third in the general elections and won 11 out of 38 states in Nigeria, including the FCT. Including the FCT. So how are you bigger than him? Well, let us let us not say the, let us not remove the fact that yes, if you deputize Peter Obi with your votes and his votes for most of, most most of the, both of you lovers uh, and supporters, it can actually push a more major role in the lower parties. Just seriously. Yeah, he says he's ready to deputize Peter Obio, but there will be like meetings and discussion that will be made before they can confirm something like that. Well, do you really think that Coin Cotton and Peter Obi tickets is good enough to remove the ruling uh, APC that is Tinibu? Well, one thing is certain. My own is that let Peter Obi or let somebody reasonable go and sit in that. And presidential seat because right now the APC and Tinibu themselves they're not doing anything. Yes, according to the people, they feel that the, 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 the government has marginalized them, the government has forgotten about them because it's true. The government is not helping matters right now. Every, everything is just so hard for a country like Nigeria. It, it's not as if for an, an East Asian country where things are hard. In a country like Nigeria, things are already hard already. Things, people are already suffering. People are already suffering. So, to me, oh, I'm looking at the coin cost and Peter Obi ticket. I'm looking at the way it looks. You know, it's before it was the like Obi and Diati, but now it will be and coin cost. What do you guys think concerning all this, this, this ticket? Do you really think it, will, it, will, it is what Nigeria need now to shape the, shape the dynamics of our economy? Or what? Drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button as big red on with the notification bell. So that anytime I have a new video, you will be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day out of you.